people that were born to be by themselves and they and oh they, and he's, he's right. right no no he's right he's right he's right <laughs> I mean, you know, it sounds kind of fucked up, right? Yeah. yeah. But there's people who enjoy them, you know, yeah. enjoy their own company rather than being with someone. Some know? people, like, you, you see, true. you see some some guys, like, they, they meet their wife, like, in high school. Like, a high school sweetheart, and they've been together, like, 60 years, like, 70 years old. I'm like, right. how, how do you do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To me, that's like, that concept is, like, a foreign, like, <laughs> concept. Like, I, I couldn't see myself in high school, college, adulthood, mid, mid-age to, like, seven years old with one person. Are you kidding me? It's just, it sounds boring. What could be more attractive than a man who knows how to take care of himself? A man who is a MGTOW and here's why. The difference between a MGTOW man and an independent man is that the MGTOW man knows how to stop any woman from getting in his way and stops women from being able to control his mind. A man who is self-sufficient doesn't know how to stop a woman from getting in his way. When a man has his own money, he can take care of his own material needs. This is your own personal step on the way to becoming a gentleman, and I just wanted to say hello before I said hello and welcome you back. In the video we're going to watch today, we'll talk about the things that modern women find annoying about the way men act. I think that girls don't actually see it in the world, they just want to be victims. Like when we're on the, on the street saying, oh, all these men are trying to grate me, da 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 Like, is that her truth? Or is that is that really how the world is? Or I could walk down the street and be like, hmm, it's fine. And I could see a data point that is manipulated that says one out of four women were graped, right? Mm. You're the, you remember that one that was going around a couple years ago? Yeah. Even when that came out, I was like, no, that's off. Like, I, because what I see in the world, I don't think men are, are out there graping women like that. Let's talk about self-reliant men and how modern women seem to be afraid of men who follow their own interests and make their own decisions without needing to get approval from other women. Independent men make their own decisions and meet their own needs without needing female approval. I believe girls don't see it because they want to be victims, such as when we're walking down the street, and I say that all these men are trying to grate me. Like, is that her truth or is that really how the world is, or I could walk down the street and say it's fine. And then I could see a manipulated data point that says one out of every four women were granted. Despite the fact that women prefer men who are independent, they do not want their partners to have their own independent thoughts. This shows that the man knows how the physical world works and where he fits into it. However, he doesn't know how to act on his own without a woman constantly telling him to do something to move forward, which would be good for her in the long run. If you want boys and men to develop the characteristics of independence, you should encourage them to participate in activities that require them to think. They will eventually develop enough character to be a little bit skeptical about the world. They will refuse to be led by others, and after making enough mistakes, they will really stop becoming followers if you teach them the valuable lesson that mistakes are an inevitable part of life, and that the only way for them to become successful is to fail first and then figure out how to correct their mistakes. You must let them make their own choices and teach them the valuable lesson that mistakes are an inevitable part of life. You must also teach them the valuable lesson that this is the only way. It is true that many of these men are independent and able to handle the responsibilities of a job and other commitments, but the one they are with is the one in charge of their hormones, which in turn control their brain's operating system. If you want a man to be truly independent, you need to work on improving his operating system first. Many people are obsessed with technology and what it is actually capable of doing. But an individual cannot become fully independent with technology alone. If you want boys and men to be able to fend for themselves in a world where there are no safe havens, you need to put them through challenging experiences, give them difficult tasks, and put them in difficult situations. When I say that being independent means being able to think quickly and on your feet, the majority of people have been trained or conditioned to deal with only minor amounts of stress. However, in order to be independent, you need to be able to think quickly and on your feet. I'm referring to tasks as fundamental as starting a fire. For instance, you could take a young child camping in the woods and ask him to start a fire by giving him an axe and some matches. He would have to use the axe to chop some wood and the matches to light the embers. It is best not to assist him, but rather to encourage him to use his own initiative to come up with a plan for starting a fire and show him how to approach problem solving in life in a creative manner. Being independent involves being able to think quickly and on your feet. There are many problems that are unique to men, and there is no answer that can be used universally to address these problems, by addressing the specific problems that men face. It is essential to teach young men how to think through a number of different possibilities, but it is also essential to teach them how to come up with a singular response that, when put into action, will be most beneficial to them. When they are just 16 or 17, 
These two lessons are absolutely necessary for them. Even if they are talented in something, the majority of adolescents will eventually be forced to make a significant decision, regardless of whether or not they are certain about what they want to do with their lives. This is due to the fact that part of being independent is being able to make choices about one's professional life at an earlier stage. Unfortunately, it's important to realize that the fact that a man can easily ignore a woman is exactly what enrages and irritates her to the core. They let their partners make the decision for them and set realistic expectations for them. In a society where not every man is a bit of male, a man who has worked on himself and developed dominance over other living beings is the mightiest. Men don't realize that when they submit to a woman, they have given her authority over their own logic. It's a well-known fact that women don't think with their heads but with their hearts, and when emotions are involved, a person is doomed to fail. Men don't realize. To give your support, click the thumbs up button. Please leave a comment below if you would like to see more videos like this one. Be sure to give it to the guys who are in the most precarious need of it.